please before we start this video kindly like share and subscribe and please turn the bell icon thank you also there must be accountability what is happening in Nigeria is robbery is brigandage it's not government and it is the responsibility of writers like myself and other well-meaning people to to fight it and I believe that the international community is in a much better position to listen now since the end of the Cold War has meant that we must uh, face issues differently uh, from what we used to do in the past blowouts oil blow is the oil companies uh, have an obligation to ensure that these things do not happen or that where they do happen they do not disrupt life a great deal. Unfortunately in Nigeria Shell which has prospected for oil in Ogoni country for the past 33 years has not done any of these things. Uh, it uses outdated equipment in Ogoni. Um, as a result of that we've had a major blowout uh, in 1970 the land that was destroyed at that time remains in that state. It's totally unusable up to this moment. We now have a devastated environment in the Delta uh, among the ethnic minorities. I leave for Nigeria tomorrow and um, the Goni people are now fully mobilized to demand their rights of the government of Nigeria. Um, in 1990, in the summer of 1990, they sent a bill of rights to the federal government and, and to the people of the country demanding certain things, particularly autonomy, the freedom to administer themselves, the freedom to use their resources for their own good, the freedom to control their environment and to stop the devastation of the environment by shell, where uh, colonialism, uh, domestic colonialism has, uh, has, uh, has taken away all the rights of the people who live on oil-bearing land. It's, it's, it's most unusual and it's not right because people have lost farmlands so that oil may be found. Well, what are you going to give back to the people? Oh, did you get that? Yes. You got it? <laughs> I thought I was rehearsing. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I was rehearsing. <laughs>A Dutch court said on Wednesday it has jurisdiction to hear a damages suit brought against Shell by four widows of activists executed by the Nigerian government in 1995. In a preliminary decision, judges at the Hague District Court said they would allow the suit to go forward, a rare win in a decade-long legal fight. And I'm glad I've seen the step. The court said they have jurisdiction of fighting. I want my husband to be exonerated. He was killed like an animal. He was killed like a criminal. And he wasn't one. He was not a criminal. Mm -hmm. The men executed were among a group that became known as the Ogoni Nine activists who included writer Ken Sarowiwa. The group had protested against Shell's exploitation of the Niger Delta. Its nine members were arrested and hanged after a flawed trial that turned international opinion. The Hague where we will solicit testimony from within and outside Shell that fully reveals the extent of our abuses. And today, I'm proud to say that we make a symbolic new start by saying to the people of the Niger Delta, we are sorry. We are sorry for the oil and gas sorry for the oil and gas spills that have made your rivers toxic. We are sorry for the gas flares that stink up your villages. We are sorry for the fact that you cannot is actually the statement that Ken Sarawiwa was prevented from reading on the 10th of November 1995 
at the end of his trial by the military tribunal that sentenced him to death by hanging. My Lord, we all stand before history. I am a man of ideas. Appalled by the denigrating poverty of my people who live on a richly endowed land, distressed by their political marginalization and economic strangulation, angered by the devastation of their land, anxious to preserve their right to life and to a decent living, and to usher to this country as a whole a fair and just democratic system. I have decided and devoted all of my intellectual and material resources, my very life to a cause in which I have total belief and from which I cannot be blackmailed or indicted. I have no doubt at all about the ultimate success of my cause, no matter the trials and tribulations which I and those who believe with me may encounter on our journey. Nor imprisonment nor death can stop our ultimate victory. I repeat that we all for history. I and my colleagues are not the only ones on trial. Shell is on trial here. And it is as well that it is represented by counsel said to be holding a watching brief. The company has indeed ducked this particular trial, but its day will surely come Again. So synergy is when two or more people or organizations combine their efforts to produce an outcome that's worth more than they would uh, achieve separately. Now by this definition, I never imagined <laughs> this. And I never imagined that even 20 years later, the thing would still be so painful as if it happened yesterday. The older I get, the, the more um, I really appreciate my father's bravery. Um, you know, you're aware of these things at 19. It's, it's almost like yesterday, first of all, that uh, each time Ken Sarua's name is mentioned or as a reference to the Ogoni, you know, people there, new leadership, etc. I just have the image of Ken before me. 